Good howdy everybody. Welcome back to another James Blackburn Experience video adventure. Now this week, as you all know, I've been taking you on movie and television sets and kind of showing you around, which is kind of where I'm at today. We'll get to that in just a minute. But first I want to talk about a couple other things. First being a variety of different films and television sets that I've worked on over the last 12 years. At this point, there's been close to 100. Believe it or not, over 100 hundred ish I mean it may be hovering right around that number, but it blows my mind to think that I've done that many. I never expected a million years to get to that level, so I'm kind of blown away by that. But the cool thing about working on that many different films over twelve years is the fact that you get to see and work on a variety of different movies, and some of them have huge budgets and some of them have no budgets at all and Allow me to explain I've worked on some Hollywood films and TV shows in the past that had millions and millions of dollars to make their movies. One of them even had $250 million. Actually, I think more than one had that large of amount of a budget. Uh, and then I've worked on the opposite end of that spectrum, and that is working on movies that cost literally nothing to make or only a uh, few hundred dollars. So uh, what I did today is I brought you to the opposite end of that spectrum. We'll go outside here and take a look here in just a second. But first, let me explain that, you know, movies, when you're an up-and-coming actor and filmmaker, when you're just starting in this crazy business, you have to take jobs and work on movies and independent ones just to get a lot of good experience. And a lot of times that ends up meaning that you're working on a very low-budgeted film here and there. So this movie that we're going to go look at today was shot back in 2008, came out in 2009, and it had no budget at all, but I ended up spending about $1,000 to make it for food and wardrobe and a few other little things like that. Uh, my actors volunteered, I have to thank them for that, and my theory is if actors are going to volunteer to work for you for free, the least you can do is feed them very well, which I did. So there was a lot of money spent on food for that to keep everybody just in a good place. So let's go outside and take a look real quick and I'll reveal what movie I'm talking about and what set location we're on and we'll continue from there. Thanks. Bye. Ooh. All right, continuing our journey on today's date of June 15th, 2017, uh, continuing my daily videos for the day and we're outside now for this movie re location reveal. I'm wearing a t-shirt, we'll show you right now. Dun 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 Yeah, it's called The 420 Movie. It's a little independent film that I wrote and directed and starred in and edited and scored and all that other fun stuff. So if you want to blame anybody for the really bad movie that was made, blame me. But I do advertise it as 79 minutes of your life that you can't get back for a reason. Uh, it's a funny, silly comedy. A lot of people seem to enjoy it. You can look it up on YouTube and watch it if you'd like. So we're at one of the locations for that today. Actually, two of the locations were shot up here. No, uh, I would say three. We're going to show you two, though, because the third one's way over there somewhere, uh, you know, back here in the desert. And I don't know exactly where it's at anymore. It's been a while since I saw it. So let's go take a look at the other two spots that are here. So spot number one that I'm going to tell you about right here is right near this drainage ditch next to the road here. And it is where we pick up a hitchhiker and turns out that she's a ghost, uh, played by my friend Tavia. Uh, the two heroes of the movie pick up the hitchhiker. Uh, Johnson and Nebar are the two main guys. I play Nebar and my buddy Scott Flick plays Johnson and right there we had the red truck parked where we pick up the hitchhiker girl. So let's go show you the other location that's on this same exact road. It just happens to be right down there on the right. Let's go take a look at it. Okay, so somewhere right in here, not where my truck is at over there, but on the paved road is the scene where Nebar and Johnson get pulled over by the uniformed police officer and the undercover cops are right behind them. So we shot that whole scene right here. So it's really close by to the other spot that was right back here where the drainage area is there. Uh, there are different sections of the movie, different parts of the story. 
but we shot them both back here because at the time there was hardly anything back here and it was really cool. You know, I call this area my back lot because I come up here and shoot stuff all the time because most of it's desert like over here. Like I was saying, most of it's desert up here still. It's being developed into neighborhoods here in the next few years probably, but right now it's still desert and dirt roads. And, you know, that's why I call it my back lot. I like to come up here. You can see the Sandia Mountains back there. They're looking mighty beautiful as usual. A little hazy today, but beautiful nonetheless. So there you go, folks. That is today's movie location. So tune back tomorrow. I believe I'm going to go visit the uh, another independent film called Grave Mistake, some locations in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. That should be a lot of fun. But then Saturday and Sunday this week, I'm visiting Breaking Bad on one of those days. A lot of Breaking Bad locations. It's going to be great. And then on the other day is going to be Better Call Saul locations. So tune back, guys. Appreciate it. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.